Hello and welcome back to another review with me, Kevin, from Kevin Grant on Whiskey. So I've just had a birthday, just turned 32, and I was able to receive some amazing whiskey for my birthday, and one of these is this. This is Nabrahin, or Nabra, I wrote it down here to try and say, Nabrahin, which means the um, brothers in Gaelic. So this is a Belmonica. <clears throat> I received this as a birthday gift, and I'm really over the moon because I've had one of these before, um, which I do have in my collection, which I do reach for now and then. It's a little bit different the way that they do things. I love the bottling and everything about it, how they do it and they pinpoint things. But we can get to that. And as you can see, just at the start of this video, I've had this opened, I've corked it, and I've got it sitting in a glass just to try and let it breathe a little bit because it is a first fill um, all or also quarter cask. So we'll go to this just now. So if we look at what they do, Nebraden is a, a kind of three cask work the way we can do it to kind of simplify it for you. So they'll buy like what they call a mother cask, which is a main cask. So let's say that holds 100 litres and there's 100 litres of whiskey in there. And at this time being, we have Dalmanach, a space side. So they've got one cask of Dalmanach. What they then do is they split that right down the middle. So however much, if there's 100 litres in there, 50 litres goes into a little brother cask and 50 litres goes into a big brother they always bottle the big brother first. So this being here is the big brother, which has been finished in all or also quarter cask. It's six years old, and they do have another one, which I think is a full bourbon, yeah, being split into that first full bourbon cask. So by the color that we can see this, we look at Dalmurch distillery itself, which is a new distillery. I think it was founded about 2017. The kind of cool thing about it is, well, 2015 is when it was founded. Yeah, 2015 it was founded, and the cool thing about it is it's built on the old site of Imperial Distillery. So Imperial Distillery being one of these kind of unicorn whiskies you try and find. This has been placed on top of it. Back in 1998 at mothballed Imperial, they wanted to sell it to build flats upon the site. That was kind of given the go-ahead. And then just later on, about 2005, it got changed to be put back into the hands of, they think we want to keep this whiskey. And I think 2013, 2014 is when that got put in motion. And then this was brought together in 2015. So this is six years old. This whiskey here, it tells us on the bottle, 2016, bottled 2022. So I'm excited. I did have a quick smell just exactly when I poured it. I thought I'll just have a quick sniff of it, see what's going on. I've never tried Dalmurch before. This is my first ever interaction with it that I remember. So I'm looking forward to it. I've also got my National Whiskey Festival glass. I went there on Saturday and I got to try some fantastic drams. These guys unfortunately aren't there. They're just not big enough yet. I think they have a huge selection of drams, which is absolutely fine. But let's get this on the nose and we'll go back to a wee bit of history in a second. Oh, It's a really rich sherried raisins, parma violet. <sighs> kind of plum jam again. Parma violet, raisins, strawberry, um, what would I say, like powder, unique milkshake, so that kind of strawberry powder to it. It's 50% ABV, I wouldn't guess that. I'd maybe guess kind of a little bit lower, but non-chill filtered natural colour. <sighs> yeah, so raisins, parma violet, parma violet, strawberry powder. <sighs> Just really good sherry cask. Well, let's try this in the palette then. So it's Lange, everyone. Wow. So on the palette, it's a bit fiery. It's a bit out there. It's quite, um, it's a lot of wood shavings I'm getting from it, but kind of burnt out wood shavings. It's got that 
I know it's not an STR or whatever, but it's got that kind of, it has been charred, like a charred cast to it. The longevity is there, but that was, from the nose, I didn't expect that. Definitely not. Six years old, yes, I get that kind of little bit of youngness to it. Sherry's definitely still there, 50% ABV. I don't get much spiciness to it as a kind of wood chip, wood shaving kind of note. I'll take another wee sip and then I'll put a wee bit of water in. It's unbelievably oily. Yeah, I, I think it's quite wood lead. There's a little bit of spice coming in out that I've maybe missed in the first place. It's just a really oily drum. Hope you can see these legs. That's So the guys that are behind us, it's two brothers called Andy and Brendan. And not brothers, two friends called Andy and Brendan. Just absolute whiskey geeks that really enjoyed going to distilleries and finding more about it and wanting to bring something new to the kind of whiskey world. And they've came up with this. I think it's a really good idea that you're getting to taste that spirit, the exact spirit that's came out of one cast, but being split two ways. So you're getting six years of Dalmarch, and I think it was just a first fill bourbon, a refill bourbon, and then it's been split two ways into the Big Brother cask of an Oloroso quarter cask. And then the, the Little Brother, I think, is it's like a first fill or refill bourbon, something along those lines. So they're just keeping, splitting it down the middle every time, and that's the ethos that they're always going to use. So a little bit of water in here now. <clears throat> It brings more, it's, it's very raisin-led, kind of raisins, dates. Strawberry powder still stays, parma violet still there. So let's try this a wee bit of water in there now, see what this does on the palate for us. is very it's okay it's wood it's like that's like i'm not saying burnt wood as in smoke it's just got that kind of burn to it maybe like a toffee popcorn you know sometimes if you put the popcorn bag in too long in a microwave then it comes out and you get those little burnt bits in there it's still got that kind of note to it that kind of toffee but slightly burnt but not smoke if that makes sense this is really enjoyable for my first experience with Dalmonach. Again, an amazing birthday gift and thank you very much. Everyone that wished me happy birthday as well and family and friends have bought me some amazing drams, especially this one here. And going to whiskey festivals and meeting more people. I was out on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so the, the next few weeks are just going to be my drinking of whiskey will be coming as of my whiskey bottles that I got. I think I dram a week just now and just let myself recover. But this here, I've really enjoyed. This would be something I'd probably get again. Yes, it's my first dram. It could be a tight neck pour as well. But my first impressions are very good. Really, really enjoyed that. From a distillery that was one of the um, most energy efficient, supposed to be one of the nicest distilleries out there as well. Maybe one I'll get to visit one day if I do. A wee trip to space, which I've not done. But I do plan in the near future getting some more distilleries under the belt and touring uh, a little bit more. But I'm going to sit back, I'm going to go and enjoy this, try and maybe learn a little bit more, try and remember how to pronounce it properly. Nebra Rin is what it is, is when it's split, even though it's got all these other letters in there. But Speyside, 50%, 6 years old, all are also sherry finish. What more do we want? I've been Kevin, Kevin Grant on Whiskey. Join me next week. Let's talk whiskey. Slash.